So this is the 2022 Freedom Storm S300. This particular model has got a four speaker Bluetooth audio system built in to stream right from your phone. So you can, if, you're, if you've got YouTube or if you have a music on your phone or if you have Spotify, you can literally stream while riding down the road. So it's nice to have some tunes for those of us that like music. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of other things. This system is fully keyless. You don't have to put a key in at all. You can, it does have a key slot. But for those of you that want to have a keyless model, it's fully keyless. You literally hit the unlock button, you turn it into ignition mode, and then if you have the kickstand up, you can fire it right up. This is being fired for the first time, by the way. All right, so I'll kill it, so it's killed. So again, to show you, it's been turned off. Now I can lock it. So let's locked. say that, let's just say that you're in a parking lot, you're in a movie theater, um, and you don't know where the bike is parked, you've forgotten. You can hit lock on your, on your uh, fob, and then you can hit your flashers. And this will flash your lights, both your front and your rear will flash. And you can come here and have a, a look at the rear side as well. So, okay. Then, if you want to access the scooter, you're walking up to the scooter at night, same the day, whenever, you're just gonna hit your unlock button. That's gonna activate the fob, and you can turn it into on mode. Okay, so let's just say that, let's just role play here for a second. You're driving down the highway, you're on I-40, you're heading towards Arkansas. You get a check engine light, you have no idea what's going on. This particular model has something really cool that I've never seen on any other scooter in America. Uh, and that is, it has a data logger built in. You can actually look in real time. I don't have the engine running right now, but I'm still gonna go ahead and go into the menu and let you see. You hold the button down for five seconds. It'll show you DTC code stored in the ECU, zero. You'll see that the middle illumination is off. You can look at things like Spark Advance, RPM. There's another screen of, of you know, additional data. These are all of your sensors. So you can check all of your sensor data right from the dash. If there is a DTC code that is thrown, you just hit the left button and you'll see that it brings up any sort of code. And you'll see that right now there is there's no fault. There's nothing that's been logged in the ECU. So for those of you that do plan to go cross country with a scooter or you plan to ride out of state with a scooter or even in town for that matter, it's really nice being able to see what exactly is going on with it from a mechanical standpoint so that you can call your local dealer and you can say, hey, there's something going on. This is the codes I've gotten. Is this something that maybe I could troubleshoot from home or on the side of the road, maybe some tools in my bucket? So for those of you that are a little bit more mechanical, you do have the ability to read the ECU codes right through the dash. You also have the ability to log all the sensors that this Delphi ECU is recording. So I hope that is some more information on the new Freedom Storm S.